Subman25 Gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video uh, is going to be part three uh, of our six to seven part series on the 4300 defense. And um, in today's video, we are going to start discussing. Uh, last video, we discussed uh, strong right defenses, uh, strong right run defense, and strong right pass defense in the under Sam Shark or Mike Sam Crash. And in today's video, we are going to be uh, taking a look now at the left side of the field uh, with the 4-3-under, arguably the weaker side of the field of the 4-3-under, uh, but we are going to be looking at the pressure and pass coverage left. And so from the 4-3-under, the play we want to pick, uh, if we're going to be doing, if we're going to be looking to do that, is the 4-3-under uh, will punch three seam. It's a very popular play in the game. And now today, the, the setup for this, and, and, and if they're in line of, like I say, common rule of thumb is, if they're in a um, um, less than three wide receiver set, you're going to use the run version setup. And, and what I mean by that is you're going to use, you're not going to drop anybody out because the potential for them passing is, is less likely than them running. So, um, anyways, guys, the setup goes pretty simple. Uh, base line, spread line, crash line down. And then that's the run setup. And, again, we're going to take that safety, put him over the center. Now, I'd like to put him in a hook zone in this situation and use her the safety because I like that left safety coming down into that uh, other yellow zone. And so, therefore, I'm going to use her uh, Reggie Nelson here. All right, and we're going to see the run's going to go left. I'm going to get wide and contain to the outside. And uh, if I'm not using two controllers, um, you know, that's pro potentially a pretty decent run, uh, run stop there. Uh, let's take one more look at this real quick. And so this is, a simp this is specifically run left. I get wide out. And there you see the runs blown up. Now let's take a look at the run to the right side of the field. Say they want to run it to the weak side of the field. Now this is why you can do a couple of things with this. You can crash your line to the right um, and get the same result for the pressure. Uh, or you could crash a line down. It really doesn't matter uh, which one you prefer. But the crash line right does a little bit better job against the run to the right. So uh, just make that quick note. But again, I'm going to get to the outside and contain the edge. Now what about like a run um, over the middle of the field? Well, this is why we're in the 4-3 under specifically um, because it does a pretty decent job of doing well against the run over the middle and that's why I would say crash line down but see you're just going to come right down the middle there and sometimes they'll break it but for the most most, most part um, you'll be good and we have a little bit better of a run defense for the middle of the field that we'll show you later another thing that you could do against the run is you can hold turbo on that deep blue zone and you you see it does a really good job of just attacking the line of scrimmage. Um, that's just a, another little quick note. Alright guys, now I want to get into the passing uh, aspect of this play and why we like it against the pass. And typically, I really like it against the trips to the left side of the field. Um, so, for example here, like this wide receiver trio here, uh, this is something that I would find myself running this play a lot in. And the reason being is it's just a really good zone to the left side. And again, our zone to the right is that Mike Sam crash three. All right, so the little push you see, we're going to, again, baseline, especially against trip sets because of what we've seen before. Spread our line, crash our line down or to the right. Now, against a passing set, we have a little bit more of a versatility. We're going to put Pico or Peco here on a quarterback spy. And then we're going to take Dunlap. We can put him in a curl to flat zone. But in this instance, I'm just going to man him up on Hauser. And now, as you see, we can use her Nelson. And the, the main vulnerability to this defense is the left side streak. So that's what we're going to jump with Nelson. And here we're going to see the pressure should come up in through the left B gap there. And you're going to be using that middle of the field. I think we got a little bit bottled up there. Um, so let's take a look at that one more time. So something like this. And we got bottled up again that time. I think I forgot to put the spy out. Um, one thing as well, if you're if this blitz is getting picked up, the one problem that you might run into is the center is going to come over. So that's why sometimes I'll leave Pico and, and not worry about the spy. It just it just kind of depends on um, how the offensive line picks it up. Like I said, if the blitz isn't working, you want to just go ahead and use that extra blitz angle. So. But uh, as far as pass coverage, what we have here uh, is pretty good, pretty good coverage overall. Um, as you can see, the main vulnerability for this is like a screen to the left side of the field. So let's see if I have one in my. Yes, I do. So if they run a screen to the left side of the field, 
this is where your user has to come into play. Um, so we're going to run a screen to the left. So we throw a screen. i got to get out there and make that tackle. Otherwise, it's going to be gone. That's the one vulnerability of it, like I said. But, you know, if you, it just depends. on Like, if you're sending a blitz, you, you're going to be vulnerable to a screen. So that's just the way that the game works. So, and then um, as far as to the right side of the field, um, sometimes they'll be like, sometimes this tight end will be out. And if the tight end is out wider, so like a, like a, just a standard outside wide receiver, then that's where we're going to put that purple more than likely because it's going to get the out route uh, that everybody likes to run. Now also here what we could do with this is we could stick Hall in a hook zone, Harrison in the deep blue, and play a cut, a cover two, and kind of gamble a little bit here. But the reason that this could be potentially dangerous or, or really actually pretty good is because there's really nothing else that they're going to throw to the to the right side of the field that's really going to scare me. And now, we'll, you know, we'll be doing a little bit better against the screen, um, as you can see here. But the pressure's not as good as the under Sam Shark, I will admit that. But it is a nice little variant. And, and, and I haven't quite figured out this left side pressure 100%. Uh, but I am confident in, in the game it works fairly well for me. I get a lot of sacks with this play. Uh, simply because the coverage on this play is, is actually really pretty good um, from from my point of view. And there you see we finally get that pressure to come in. So, um, but anyways guys, that's the uh, wheel punch you've seen. You want to use it for left side runs and left side, strong left side passes. Uh, that's kind of your play here. And the, remember that the left side is probably the weakest side of the 4-3 under. Uh, but the wheel punch through seam makes it very, very applicable and, a bit, and able to at least contend with the left strong left offenses. So tomorrow we're going to talk about our middle runs, or not our middle run server, but our base pass defense. Uh, when we don't want to send pressure, we just want to have a really good pass coverage. We're going to show you that play tomorrow. So thank you for your time today. I hope that this video was beneficial. If it was, be sure to subscribe so that you can see tomorrow's video, or leave a like rating if you're already subscribed. And lastly, if you have any comments, suggestions, problems, uh, or just questions uh, pertaining to this video, then please leave that in the comments below. Thanks for your time today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.